President Obama makes his opening bid in the debt negotiations. The White House is offering 1.6 trillion in tax increases over 10 years, 400 billion in cuts coming later, and no new proposals dealing with entitlement reforms. Name some specific programs that ought to be cut that would cause pain in terms of the role of our government that Democrats are prepared to support. Aren't you going to have to somewhere along the line, though, of uh, talk about entitlements and reforming entitlements? Oh, absolutely. But you don't have any of that in this plan. This offer doesn't remotely deal with entitlement reform in a way to save Medicare and Medicaid and Social Security from imminent bankruptcy. For four years, Democrats have been completely unbalanced in the way they've spent taxpayer dollars. Yet now that the crisis is upon us, they solemnly advise us that we need to be balanced in our solution. We don't have a tax problem, we have a spending problem. Mr. President, show us your plan. He needs to give us his ideas of where spending ought to be cut. You've got to agree to actually address the real problem here, which is putting our entitlement programs on a sustainable path. We should fix entitlements because they're broken. You have to actually modify programs. And what we now need to see is real offers of entitlement reform. I mean, if we don't put entitlement reform on the table, then we're not very serious. The president himself has been unwilling to engage. All he said is he wants additional taxes. What the president's proposal would do is raise taxes on almost a million small businesses who employ 25 percent of the workforce. You're going to choke off job recovery in the future. Everybody knows that. Ernst & Young has predicted that we'll lose 700,000 jobs. The solution to our problems moving forward is economic growth. We need to create growth which creates jobs. We need to be focused on jobs and growth. People can grow their own businesses. Getting people back to work. That's the whole point is to protect the job creators in our society. Bottom line is the buck stops at the White House and the president needs to take the leadership to step up and get this done.